Ted. Definite threat out there right now, and yeah. another threat looming from this hurricane. Huh? Yeah, and it seems counterintuitive, but not a great idea to run to height when you're trying to get away from lightning. And in some cases, you need to go out and get away from that kind of stuff and make yourself as small as possible if you end mm -hmm. up in those opportunities. And you're right, Jimena could be an issue for us. Maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday. Wow. Maybe. We've got a lot of details for it coming up here. But let me do a couple of things here. First of all, turn your microphone one, here's on. a look at the radar. Well, actually, Dick, I should probably turn it on. What do you think of that idea, huh? Oh, hey, hey, a broadcast you know? pro like me. You get a chance to do that. All right, here's a look at what's going on for us. We'll talk Jimena, Jimena, Jimena coming up here in a second. All right, have I got that right? No. Jimena. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah. All right. Here's a look at what's going on. Storm right over Placidus right now. It's kind of scooting down Albuquerque area. A couple sprinkles for us. Maybe a brief thunderstorm. Things will back off as we head throughout the night. We still have some storms along the I-40 corridor at this point. Las Vegas has just gotten a pretty good thunderstorm. Now things are starting to calm down there. Around Vaughn, we're starting to draw some more storms in and some scattered stuff out to the west. This stuff will back off during the overnight hours here, but still we're hanging on to some of it. 78 degrees in the Albuquerque area right now. The storm just to our north. 50 60s and 70s to the north, down to the south, temperature 60s, 70s, and 80s. High pressure continues to sit to our west. Now, that's important for now because it's allowing actually a little bit of moisture in here to touch off some storms for us, but it's the movement of that high that's going to end up being a key. Here are the details on the hurricane right now. Still an extremely powerful storm, but as it comes up through the Baja, what it's going to do is really weaken here. So we don't have to worry about the winds. What we do have to worry about is the possibility of the moisture funneling into the state. But here's the thing. A lot of things have to fall in place for the moisture to come up into New Mexico. So we've got to do a couple of things. We've got to shift the high pressure from our west over to the east to allow the moisture in here. And that's what's really going to be a key for us. Right now, it's looking like the highest impact will be into Arizona and possibly the western half of New Mexico with Albuquerque on the edge of this starting Saturday and lasting throughout the weekend here. A lot of this can change, but right now, this is what it's looking like. And if things shake out the way they're looking right now, these would be the areas that we'd see the heavier rains falling in and the possibility of some isolated flooding and really some beneficial rains, but a very rough holiday forecast. We'll keep you posted on what's going to happen with this over the next few days. But what could go wrong? Well, the high is the key here. If the high sticks in place or stays out to the west, it won't allow the moisture in, so it'll push it into Arizona and California. We won't get all that. That much. But if it goes east and it just opens that door, that would give us a much better chance to pick up a lot of rain. That's what we'll be watching over the next few days, and that's what we'll let you know about as we get closer to the weekend. 80s and 90s across the northwest for tomorrow. Spot storms a possibility. With the high to our west still, we're going to see our fair share of storms tomorrow, especially over mountain sections of the northeast, back toward the south and west. A few storms possible here and over to the southeast. Relatively quiet and pretty warm. 93 Carlsbad, 92 Artesia, and 96 in Roswell. East Mountain Mountains temperature is going to be in the low 80s for tomorrow, mid 80s around Estancia and Moriarty. And here in the Albuquerque area, we'll top out tomorrow in the low 90s. A spot storm possible, just like today when we're getting one a little later this evening. And then Santa Fe getting far more interesting toward the weekend. And same deal here in Albuquerque. We are watching the weekend into even Monday is the possibility for being pretty wet. But again, not a done deal yet. Puddles on that screen. We've got there, a huh? shot. We've got a chance. Yep. All right. Thank you, Mark. Sports is next.